The Tri-State Late Model Series is a relatively new series on the racing scene. It started about five years ago, but was rebranded last season and really took off uh, to what we're seeing today. Uh, this year we'll have about 20 races, uh, give or take a few, depending on what Mother Nature allows us to do. Uh, coming down here to Spencer is uh, our first trip down here and we're, we're excited to be here. Um, this is about as far south and east as we will go. Uh, we're based primarily out of Sioux Falls, um, but there's limited racetracks and limited late model racing around there. So uh, we'll be out to Hartford, South Dakota. We also come, uh, you know, as far over as Jackson, Minnesota. We'll go up to Aberdeen, South Dakota, which is going to be uh, as far north as we've ever been. And we'll go as far south as Norfolk, Nebraska. Uh, what's really cool about the Tri-State Late Model Series is we sit right between several different sanctioning bodies for late models, and they all have just slightly different different rules. So what we've done with the Tri-State Late Model Series is try to find a happy medium for all of those different types of cars to be competitive. So if you're from southern Nebraska or southeast Iowa or northern South Dakota or Minnesota, there's a rule package that will fit your late model. And we think uh, we found a pretty happy spot for everyone to be competitive. Uh, generally, our races are a thousand to win, but we'll have specials that'll pay up to four or five thousand dollars to win each year. And, uh, we'll see an average right around 20 cars a night, uh, which is which is right in par and, and really great for today's uh, racing economy. Um, we just got our season started in Rock Rapids, Iowa last week. We were supposed to start in April and here it was June when we got our start thanks to uh, all of the rain, but we're hoping that's behind us and uh, we're gonna have a strong uh, second half of the season. Uh, we're really looking forward to some three night trips. We're in one of those right now, uh, Spencer, uh, Jackson, Minnesota, and then over to Hartford, South Dakota. Later on this year, we'll go all the way up to Aberdeen, South Dakota, where the support series with the World of Outlaws NOS Energy Drink Sprint Cars. Uh, so that's a big opportunity for us to be on a grand stage. The night after that, we go down to Miller, South Dakota. We've never been there before. And then we'll travel back down closer to home, as we like to call it, and we'll be at I-90 Speedway. That's all during the July 4th week. So uh, while people are out celebrating with burgers and brats and fireworks, we'll be doing the same thing, but we'll be at the racetrack and we hope uh, we'll have lots of fans come out because we have a lot of teams really excited for that three day swing. What is interesting about Tri-State Late Models is we've got a a small base of late models up there in the Sioux Falls area because it was uh, a pretty limited class up there. We've always been known for sprint cars around Sioux Falls, so late models really never took off big around Sioux Falls, but they were just to our north up there here on South Dakota, uh, Watertown, South Dakota, they're big. You go to our south into Nebraska, late models are big. You go to our west, you go to our east, late models are big. So we were on an odd island in the Sioux Falls area, and now thanks to the Tri-State Late Model Series, we're really seeing things uh, pick up in Sioux Falls. We've got three or four new teams in the late model ranks this year uh, that are following us and, and running for our Fast Shafts Rookie of the Year Award. Uh, but if you have a, a late model and you're competitive uh, with the Wissota late models and, and their tours or an IMCA late model or even a, a Malvern Bank super late model from down in Nebraska, uh, a couple changes to the car, if any, and you're competitive to run with us with the Tri-State Series. Our drivers really, uh, it always amazes me how far drivers will come to race their late models. Uh, when it comes to dirt track racing and, and stock car type stuff, Late model racers are the best of the best and these guys if there's a place to race and there's a good purse They're willing to drive three or four hours to get to that show So here in Spencer for example, we've got a driver down from our couple down from Aberdeen, South Dakota That's a long haul. We've got drivers up from Omaha, Nebraska. That's a long haul But again, if you put a good structured purse and a good rules package together we're seeing that these drivers are responding and we're, we're feeling quite lucky and quite successful right now with the Tri-State Late Models. Uh, you can always follow Tri-State Late Models on Facebook to see all of our upcoming events and where we've been, where we're going next, what the points are doing. And uh, we'd like to have some fun with some trivia on that page too. So give us a like, just search Tri-State Late Models on Facebook.